Now the next type of disorder is intermittent explosive disorder and in this disorder individual has episodes of anger um, outbursts. So he or she is unable to control aggressive impulses. So the criteria is that there are recurrent behavioral outbursts representing a failure to control ag aggressive impulses as manifested by either of the following symptoms. So the individual, uh, it's, it may be a child, or adolescent or adult, whoever has this intermittent explosive disorder has it fails to control the aggressive outburst or anger outburst. Uh, now how it is manifested? It is manifested in verbal or physical aggression. Zabani wali gusa bhi ho sakta hai, aggression bhi ho sakti hai. Or verbal mean physical bhi ho, physical bhi ho sakti hai. Jisse jasmani tashadud hum kehte hai ya anger kehte hai. It's not violence, it's actually aggression. And it can be towards uh, property, it can be towards animals or it can be towards other individuals. So the anger or aggression is manifested or geared towards property, animals or other individuals. So it doesn't uh, result, a, it result in damage, serious damage, destruction of property and physical injury to animals or humans. It occurs twice weekly on average for a period of three months. So agar पिछले तीन महीने से on average दो दफा um, verbal या physical aggression towards animal, towards property or towards humans, other individuals हो तो then you have to diagnose them with intermittent explosive disorder. Then um, the next uh, criteria or feature is that uh, three behavioral outbursts involving damage of destruction or property. पिछे हमने देखा कि वो damage और destruction to property नहीं हो रही दो aggression है. लेकिन यहां पे पूरे पिछले 12 महीने के अंदर अगर तीन एपिसोड्स होते हैं बिहेवियरल आउटबर्स्ट इन्वॉल्विंग डैमेज और डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी एंड और फिजिकल इंजरी अगेंस्ट एनी इंडिविजुअल और एनिमल सो देन यू देन देन आल्सो यू विल डायग्नोस देम विद इंटरप्रिटेंट एक्सप्लोसिव डिसऑर्डर